I don't think that people really get the extent to which dealing with trauma is an invisible thing that they don't see, but it has huge impacts on the, the mind and the body of the person who is experiencing it, but it also has a huge impact on the ecosystem in which they operate because they're now trying to navigate a space that they once navigated in, in a particular way through the trauma lens until they get some kind of help that may help them navigate that space a little bit better. You, you talked about this a little bit earlier where you discussed like what are some of the symptoms that you might see in someone who's having a trauma reaction and how they show up both personally and professionally in, in social situations. But I really don't think that people understand because it's, it's not a broken leg. It is not a heart attack. It is not, you know, a brain aneurysm. I don't think that they understand what it looks like for somebody to be operating from a trauma brain space and that the trauma brain is not just what you're thinking. It is also about what your body is doing. Absolutely. It actually impacting the, the, the structures in our brain, the molecules that are in our brain. I mean, from that moment on, this will affect your thinking. This is going to affect behavior. This is going to affect the whole emotional system of this individual. Our brains are kind of set up for learning. It wants to learn. It's kind of modern in the way that it loves new novel information. And that's when we learn best, when we're able to let our brain get excited about learning. But trauma impacts it in the way of it becomes more conservative in the way that it's feeling fearful of learning new information or engaging in new things because it doesn't feel safe whether it be physically safe, emotionally safe, spiritually safe, or relationally, those things were all impacted by their trauma. For them to find safety in those things again is, is kind of how we are able to start growing and thriving, but we can't do that without appropriate therapy, without therapy that's addressing all the effects of the trauma, not just the thinking part, the cognitive part, because there's so much more to it. Right. So for someone who has had this experience and your work, what does relief look like? Is complete relief from that even possible? Yes, mm. it is. It absolutely is. A person who has engaged in therapy and decided um, to start working um, with a therapist on all the ways that this is affecting them, we first get them really savvy at using their tools so that they start gaining confidence in their ability to self-regulate again. I mean, here's your body system reacting in all kinds of ways that we're, I don't want to be feeling like I can't be here right now, but here we are. <laughs> I feel like I can't breathe and, and my heart's beating out of my chest and I need to get out of here. We don't want to feel that way. And so by engaging you know, in therapy and, and choosing one of these modalities with your therapist, success can look like I never thought I could travel or I've been having this rumination of nightmares for the last five years or the last six years because since my incident, I go to sleep and there's these horrible, scary animals that are coming at me when I'm asleep. And that's, that's really affects a person's life and their ability to even feel safe in their bedroom or with their spouse. Healing can look like, you know, I'm able to sleep in my bedroom again. I'm able to sleep again. Wow, I feel okay hanging out in my front yard. I haven't felt comfortable being in my front yard in, in years. I mean, I, I've had an experience with a client just a little over a week ago where, you know, the work we've been doing, she's not having nightmares anymore. And for her, that just changed everything, you know, in her ability to even sleep in her room. You know, those are really big deal things it don't sound like big deal things for somebody who hasn't been through trauma, but it's gaining an area of their life back that they didn't previously have or think they could have back. That's really powerful.